guys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 7. And this is the last part I'm actually pre-recording whilst I'm away in the USA. And I, I miss you guys so much. <laughs> I know I'm pre-recording this, but I know I miss recording for you guys and I miss you guys lots. So uh, I hope I have been posting lots for you on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat uh, so you guys can keep up with my adventures. And also I've promised to read your comments uh, so I can see everything I need to know uh, for the next part of this LP when I'm back. So the next part, I'll be able to have taken all of your comments on board and uh, yes. make some changes. Anyways, we just had, uh, or we have just been having um, a nice Saturday dinner over at, at, uh, at uh, Oliver's house. I forgot, is it Ollie or Oliver? I guess Ollie is the nickname of Oliver. <laughs> And I'm glad you guys enjoyed the speed build. Um, I just released that video today, so I got to see your feedback on that. So if you want to see the speed build of this house, you are more than welcome to. Uh, also, what else do I need to talk to you guys about? Um, oh, to do with um, Jacquez. <laughs> you guys are saying it's pronounced Jack. Um, it's just the French version of the name. And I knew I was pronouncing it wrong. It was kind of a joke, but I can see some of you guys are actually pulling your hair out and are like, no, Deli, stop. <laughs> so I will now call him Jack. Quez. No, I'll call him Jack. Jacks. Jacks. Maybe it's like Jacks. I don't know. I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Uh, what else? Oh, also regarding the school lunch um, becoming spoiled in our inventories, the child will only eat their school lunch if they go uh, to school and are hungry, and then they'll get a happy moodlet. And then the tantrum traits they get is not a moodlet. Um, that's actually a trait that is temporary under here that'll turn up every now and then. So thank you guys for telling me about that. And you've also said that we should... Um, get the kids to use a diary because that will help their emotional control and conflict resolution and emotional control is something that's more difficult to focus on in the teen hood. So, teenage hood. So, um, we're going to have to work on those a little bit for Bailey. Anyways, I think, um, let's see, we're all pretty hungry. I don't know what happened to Grandma Judy and uh, cooking for the fam. It's good to see Oliver's back. Um, we might get Clarice to go over here and discuss interest, just get to know him a little bit more. Always good to do. And, um, oops, I just want to get to know him more. I really want these guys to be a, a nice... A nice couple one day, hopefully, with a bit of luck. But I mean, if they don't hit it off, they don't hit it off. We can't force the Sims, can we? <laughs> Even though we can. <laughs> I don't want to brag about our job title. That's just not classy. And I feel like Clarice is a pretty classy lady. Also, we were discussing uh, these tables. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my God. I wish we could actually put that in our inventory and, like, decorate the house with it. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay, that's the first time we've ever made something. I want to take a picture of that. Love it. Love it. Okay. That's cool. Ah, oh, it's the small things in life that make me happy. Also, we now have a club now, which is so cute with all their little rainbows. And it's good because it encourages Bailey to do her homework, as that's one of those actions that we like to focus on. Now, uh, we might get Clarice to uh, call everyone to meal. That looks so good, by the way. Damn. Damn, Grandma Judy's awesome. And a lot of you guys are like, uh, Grandma Judy's the best. She's my spirit animal. I want to be when, gra I want to be Grandma, like Grandma Judy when I grow up. And you know what? Me too. She's great. She's so free. She wanders around naked. Uh, we also have the topic of her maybe adopting. I was actually thinking about this and she's probably, sadly as an elder, probably too old to adopt. So if we want to adopt, Clarice would have to or alternatively, we could maybe get, uh, why is she reminding me so much of Minecraft right now? Like those jolty movements just side to side. <laughs> uh, we could get Clarice to adopt or Judy could maybe have like an exchange student come live with them uh, when maybe Bailey's aged up to a teen or something like that. That could kind of be good. Now, in terms of age, uh, she's got 10 days until aging up. So we'll probably do aging... Uh, naturally in this series, I think. Uh, I think that'll be good. And yeah, she's just finishing that off. All right, so why is everyone like awkwardly sitting around in silence? Oh my God, he is keen. He's like, cannot take his eyes off Clarice. Look at him, he's like, wow, 
She's so beautiful. Okay, that was really weird. The game like froze for a second then. It wasn't until I disabled uh, Bailey's homework that everyone could move again. So that was pretty strange. Anyways, the kids are all playing together. They should probably be eating though, but you know, whatevs. Grandma Judy's sitting in her chair over there. Oh, Dominic. Let's go down to the karaoke bar and sing some duets. I've been practicing like crazy. Oh, uh, not right now, Dominic. Jeez, it's single night at the bar. Let's go out and meet someone new. Dominique, calm down. Like, invite us to one thing, not two things. My goodness me. Uh, I'm also really proud that we do have Bailey with friends. Oh my God, she's like best friends with Sylvia. Oh my God. Like, look at that. That's awesome. And she's also really close with Elliot now as well. And Max and Olivia, like, this is the first time my Sims have actually had friends, I think. <laughs> like, good friends. Uh, the thing that's not going too well is our relationship with Oliver. Like, I don't even know. I don't understand why it's so hard for these two to get to know each other. Uh, compliment the house. Brighten his day. Clarice, pull out the moves. I feel like she just sits here awkwardly in science all, silence all the time. Her responsibility is going down, I think, because it's end of curfew time, which is annoying because, like, she's here with her family. I assume that's why her responsibility has gone down. Uh, Clarice, what is Clarice doing? It's so odd. Oh, he's playing with his little cat. Successful vegetarian food is successful. The flavors, the texture, all around amazing. This dish definitely has Clarice's seal of approval. <laughs> Thank you, come again. Oh, here we go. Good girl. She's finally got her confidence up because that was awkward. Judy's just like watching how this is going to pan out. <laughs> Maybe flatter him. Uh, share astronomy knowledge. I quite like that. Did you know, Oliver, that you are... Actually, do we know, do we know what... No, we don't know what star sign he is. We don't know that. Uh, responsibility is going down. Why? I don't understand. Because she's out after curfew. But she's with her family. That's why this this is silly. Fine, I'm gonna get her to go home and Grandma Judy to go home. Whoa, whoa, are we taking this outside, you guys? Oh, I love hearing that train go past. Whoa, whoa, what is, what are you doing, Oliver? Where are you taking us? He wants some, oh my God. Did I choose that interaction? I didn't even realize I, oh my God, this is so romantic. <gasps> Finally, they're getting to know one another. Oh, and look, they're totally in sync. How cute is that? I love this couple. I want them to have um, a, a marriage, a wedding is what I'm trying to say. Actually, no, don't get up. Can we just talk while we're down here, please? <laughs> um, <sighs> compliment home. Let's just keep complimenting his home. It is a lovely home. I deal it a uh, builder to myself. Okay, I mean, this is romantic and all, but I feel like we're not actually getting to know each other very well. So let's continue. Oh, good. We're doing well now. Flatter. Let's flatter him. Express admiration. Yeah, cool. They're just getting to know each other. Uh, Grandma Judy, what are you up to? Oh, my God. No, no. Do not fail your bladder. Oh, good grief. My goodness. No, don't, don't do it. Don't do it, Judy. Oh, my goodness. This is so upsetting. She's going to have a bladder failure, you guys. She's just waiting for it to happen. Judy, you could have made it to the toilet like three times over. She's like, it's okay. It's all natural. It's all a natural. Oh, my God. She forgot to wear her adult nappy. Oh, dear. So she obviously did a shapoopy, uh, did she? Okay, girl, it's t it's time to go home. Please go home. Let's just pretend, at least because no one saw that, we can just blame one of the kids. Except this guy saw it. Max is like, I didn't see anything. I love my homework so much. I did not see her wet herself. And you know what? Let's just take the food with us. <laughs> Glory steak and the food home. Oh my gosh. I like this relationship with Oliver because it's very slow and they haven't even been romantic yet. They're just getting to know each other as acquaintances. And it's just nice, you know? She Clarice doesn't need a man. She doesn't necessarily want a man. 
but she's interested in this man, and I think that's perfect. And I really want to combine the families. Um, I think that would be really cute, because I really want Elliot to be a part of our fam. Our relationships are so strong, though. So impressed. Oh, he's like, yeah. I kind of like stargazing. I kind of could go vegetarian. Brag about Job Tato. Let's just keep flattering him. Uh, we're still acquaintances. I just want to get this up to a friendship and then I'll be happy because then we can go into a romance at any time we like. But maybe I'll wait for the romancing until the next part because you guys can tell me if you think they should be getting a little bit romantic. Aww, this is so cute. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Oliver. It was nice to know you. Damn it, they're still acquaintances. Fine, we'll just call him on the phone. It is 2 a.m. in the morning. Jeez. That was, that was actually pretty late. All right, Clarice, let's go home. And we're back. All right, time to ca take care of yourself. Uh, she can go to the toilet. That pasta must have been like a diuretic because uh, everyone's needing to pee all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, and then we'll get her to go to bed. Uh, I do love this simple house. It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, how's Bailey going? Why is she in such a good mood? Like this kid is so perfect. She's definitely going to have a meltdown when she's, <laughs> when she's a, uh, when she's a, what's the word? When she's a teenager. Also, did we not buy her a diary? I feel like I would have bought her a diary. That's weird. Let's let's buy her a diary and work on that emotional control. Mm, where would it be in skills? Which one should we get? I kind of like the first one. Just the bright pink one. Oh, the blue one's nice. White one's a bit boring. Actually, you know what? I kind of like, th where did it go? Oh no, I've lost it. This one, I like this one. All right, let's write in her diary. Write in journal. And we can hide it under the bed too, if we want to. All right. Because Nana Judy's in bed, Clarice is going to bed and she can secretly be up and writing in her journal. Dear diary, today I met Elliot, he's my neighbor. I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> Just kidding, boys give you cuties. They're gross. <laughs> Dear Diary, Judy and Mom and me made a school project a few days ago. It turned out really good. And then me and my friends made a robot. It's so cool. It works in everything. Dear Diary, Sylvia and I are best friends. I've never had such a close best friend except for Grandma Judy and Mom. Oh, bless you. I never, I don't think I ever had a diary. Actually, that's not true. I tried to have a diary because I thought it was cool, but I never wrote in it. Oh, Grandma Judy's painting, so cute, so sweet. And I love all this mess on the floor. I love these new objects. It's so nice. Oh, damn, we really need to move that light up a little bit. That's frustrating me now. Let's just move this. Yes, we want to be right in between those angels' hands. So she's holding the moon and the stars above her. It's beautiful, you guys. It's so beautiful. All right, so emotional control is going up a fair bit. And I, what is this? Is this, what skill is that? Mental creativity? I suppose it's, it looks like it's creativity because it's not motor or social. Uh, and then she's got her homework to do as well. Oh, actually, relive memories. I think we should hide her journal. I feel like as a child, you should always hide it. So let's watch her do this interaction where she hides it under the bed. Ooh, locate journal. Oh, so you can have multiple journals. And what happens if her mom goes here? Locate journal. <gasps> Ooh, so they can go looking for it. That's naughty. Oh, I really don't like this painting, but we'll sell it. We'll sell it. Oh, and we should get Judy's fish mounted. <laughs> yes, because, oh, that was my throat. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, you guys. That was so gross. It was like, ah, sound like a dead chicken. Uh, 
Speaking of vegetarianism, I apologize to the vegans and vegetarians out there. Now, uh, Bailey, you need to go to... Why will you not just go to bed? Actually, you know what? She's pretty hungry. I might get the uh, pasta out of Clarice's inventory. The spaghetti. And uh, we might get Bailey... Oh, damn it. It's already gone off. Surely... Oh, no. We'll have to get Grandma Judy to fix that tomorrow because she is not into hiring people to do the handiwork for her. She's like, I am a strong, independent woman. I don't need no man to come into my house. Or Clarice's house. <laughs> What's her house to, to do this? Okay. So you can have that quick little uh, bacon and eggs. And then after that, she doesn't even need to sleep. And it's like daytime. She's like the magic child. All right, Clarice is still sleeping away. That's probably good. We'll have to get her to do a couple of things for work, I'm assuming. Um, oh, she just needs to make business calls. She's already done all of this, so that's good. Management level eight, all good and well. And Judy, we can just get her to do some paintings. I do want her to mount these. And I think she's going to put them... She should put them, like, right in the kitchen where Clarice eats. And Clarice will be like, why? Why did you do this? <laughs> Uh, we'll put them, like, above this painting. A lot of you guys are like, that she's, like, a hippie, so she should be vegetarian. But that's, like, such an old-school hippie, uh, hippie stereotype, I feel. Like, now everyone's vegan and vegetarian. It's just, like, not even a hippie thing. I think she's more into, like, you should hunt for your food, hippie. Like, modern-day hippie, you know? Okay, um... Cool, so she's had that. Let's get her to clean that up and clean this up. And then she can she can go to bed. And we'll get Judy to do some baking. So at least she has food in her school lunch in case she does go to school hungry this week. But we've been so good at feeding her recently, she hasn't even needed it. So there we go. Can do that. You know what? Let's get her to... Uh, we should get her to... S Actually, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll just let her do a thing. Ew! It looks so dirty. <laughs> Look how dirty that looks. I didn't realize I put a dirty looking one in that bathroom. But hey, it looks realistic. My sink actually keeps clogging up. It's really annoying. Okay, Grandma Judy. I feel like Grandma Judy can get up and greet the new day. I do like her uh, new outfit as well. Ooh, this is nice. We can put this on the wall. There we go. And we'll get... Uh, Grandma Judy to start repairing that. What is her skill level up to? Oh, actually Clarice did the fixing last time, which is good. She's been brought up by Judy to be a strong, independent woman. Love it. Love it. Baking level 10. Good stuff. And I think after she fixes that, we'll serve some pancakes. Because who doesn't love pancakes? And Clarice will eat that quite happily. So I'm happy about that. What is this? Watch TV with. Interesting. Interesting. I want I want to have like a little kid crush with Elliot. Like I want what's the closest thing to being like little crushes? Like you can have a crush in primary school. I remember had having crushes. They should definitely have that option in the game. Or they should have an option to write in their diary about their crush or something. That would be cute. Oh damn, Judy using those biceps, girl. <laughs> she is just a wonder woman I love Judy we should get her to wander around naked too because uh, Bailey's not awake so she should be able to do that quite fine cooking in the nude Clarice will wake up and be like uh, what are you doing <laughs> uh, pancakes there we go that's what we were doing I find it amazing that they can fix this without even touching anything but the bottom of the sink it's just amazing <laughs> Don't even have to get actually under there. Ah, oh, don't you love just cooking in the nude? Cooking in the nude, it's the best. Mm. It uh, keeps the food fresh, if you know what I mean, which is a good time. Uh, uh, oh, beautiful. Uh, okay, well, I like that. Clarice, you can probably get up now. Get her to have a quick uh, shizwa. And Bailey, eh, she can still get a little bit more of a tink. Uh, ooh, Lilith. Hey, I heard you became friends with Elliot McCormack. He's pretty cool. We did. We did. That's nice. Thanks, Lilith. I love... We did. And I hope 
I, I think it'd be cute. I know it's a little bit weird if the mum ends up with Oliver and then the daughter ends up with Elliot. I know it seems a bit weird, but that's totally fine. Don't you guys think? Because it's like, they're not blood related or anything. It'd be quite cute, wouldn't it? I mean, they don't have to. They can just be friends, but... I don't know. I did, didn't Marsha and Greg back in the day in the Brady Bunch end up getting together? I'm so sorry I keep referencing the Brady Bunch, but my mom and dad made me watch it while I was growing up. <gasps> Yay, the flea market! Woo! Ooh, Grandma Judy can take some paintings. Shop for trash or treasures, find snow globes and posters. Set up shop, visit one of the many display tables to put your own treasures up for sale. Trade your stuff, talk to any of the local vendors, you'll be able to trade your collectibles with them for a chance at better ones. <gasps> you know what? Let's take the fish. Let's take these. Clarice is like, oh my God, why is there fish on my wall? And mom, why are you always nude? It's Pants Off Friday, Clarice. <laughs> Let's grab a serving and I wanna go to the flea market. I think that'll be, that will be a hoot and a half. Actually, wait, where was this again? Waterside Warble, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so it's on all day. We've got time to go, which is good. Actually, we should wake up uh, Bailey then so she can grab, grab a serving. And her emotional control did go up quite a bit. All right, this is looking good. So Clarice is in a good mood. Yes. Judy's in a half a good mood. She would just need to use the toilet. And then I, I might actually get her to, uh, may as well scavenge for parts and mop up. Just give the place a bit of a clean would be nice. Uh, Cause she's looking very uncomfortable cause this room is pretty yucky looking at the moment. Uh, honey buns, are you unable to reach that or something? What, what's wrong? Oh, she's not even hungry. Okay, that's fine. Then you can pack that into her school lunch, except she doesn't need to. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Let's just put it all in the fridge. Why is nothing working in this household? Thank you. Thank you. Deli's getting frustrated with this. Okay. Uh, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna scavenge for those parts. Find something quickly. Uh, oh, no, not really. It's all right. We can all clean up together. And everyone should be in a great mood in just uno momento. Beautiful, and we can head to that fabulous flea market. You go, girl. Good job, Clarice. All right. Ah, look at that. Filthy surroundings should disappear. Yay! Beautiful clean house on a Sunday. Off for a family outing. Life cannot get better, can it? You know what, why don't we sell this? I feel like this doesn't really suit the house. Yeah, I wanna get a few things for Judy. We might be able to do like a quick... Oh. Mm. Actually, let's quickly water the garden. That's probably a good idea. And we can harvest all. Actually, we've got a few things we can sell because we've got harvestables. I know they're not necessarily collectibles, but that's okay. Uh, but I think we'll be able to sell a few things in our inventory. Homework complete? Oh, Bailey. Slay girl. Slay girl. Quickly harvest all of that good stuff and we are ready to rumble. Let's head over to this festival. I think we'll get uh, this little one to maybe get a samosa because I love samosas. Samosas are the bomb diggity. And we do have this... Uh, this art thing that we could actually try and sell some paintings on. So maybe we should stock the table, as they say. Oh, she's just been having a little snackaroo, has she? She doesn't need a snack, does she? She can, she can, what's the word? Multitask. Yay! And let's mark these up. Uh, start street sale. Judy Barker needs to be tending the table to start a sale. Okay, tending the sale, uh, tending the table. And then, congratulations, she has taken on the first steps of culinary journey through the city. Nice one. Uh, start street sale. Let's mark up the prices to 200% because Judy, Judy does not mess, does not mess around. She is a woman on a mission. And Bailey, Bailey over here can, can help Judy. 
Look at Judy. She's like, I got cheap paintings. I did them myself. Freshly painted. Fresh on the canvas. That's right. Hello, Mr. Demarcus Drew. Demarcus, you like markers? You like paint? Come, 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 come. <laughs> Oh, Bailey's trying to draw the mural. She's trying to color it in. Yay, we made a sale! Thank you. Come again. All right. Hello, Bjorn. Can I sell you this painting? It is only 505 simoleons. Oh, come on. That was a bargain, I tell ya. And I think Judy should quickly say... Um, <laughs> To, to little Bailey, parenting, um, discipline, recent behavior. I think she should hug it out over making a mess. No, firm, express disappointment, punish, give time out for making mess, maybe. She'll do that after she makes her painting sale. $500, this excellent pop art painting for you. Did she buy it? Buy it, buy it. Can we make her buy it more? Describe the aesthetics. Ask the trade collectibles. Yay! Whoa, we made like a thousand twelve hundred dollars. Damn, Judy. Judy making the bank right in time. Oh, the festival finished. I thought the festival was open until 10 p.m. Damn. Well, I think that was pretty successful. Where's little Bailey gone? Oh, she's just over here. She's just over here. Cute. Oh, and they can play some basketball together. Oh my god, of course Judy is now playing basketball. This woman never stops. She's like the super grandma. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I will be back home for the next part, recording as per usual. So I'll be looking forward to that. But I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.